The MBA's measure of credit access declines for the first time in nearly half a year, and Fannie and Freddie released their first quarter earnings ahead on this weekend news wrap. A report released Thursday by the Mortgage Bankers Association shows credit availability was down slightly in April, signifying a tightening market. The report comes on the heels of the Federal Reserve's latest senior officer loan survey, which found credit standards on prime loan products remained largely unchanged and tight over the most recent quarter, despite falling demand. According to the MBA, the group's mortgage credit availability index dropped nearly 0.2 percent from March to a reading of 113.8 last month. It was the first decline since November last year. However, while the index has risen every month since then, the MBA notes most of that trend has been in jumbo lending as banks respond to rising demand. The government is set to gain an additional $10.2 billion from Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac in June, following another profitable quarter for both companies. Releasing their earnings report on the same day, Fannie and Freddie reported first quarter profits of $5.3 billion and $4 billion respectively. Both enterprises have reported profits each quarter for more than two years straight, while both companies warn that their recent earnings levels are not sustainable over the long term as the housing recovery moderates, both expect to remain profitable for the foreseeable future, further complicating the decision of what to do with them as policymakers contemplate housing finance reform. You can check out these stories and all the latest happenings in the industry right here on our site. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again on Monday here at TheMReport.com, your source for the latest news and strategies in the evolving mortgage market.